the pictures confirmed much of what was previously rumored as play notch, dual front-facing camera sensors, and sensor placement. The leak also revealed some previously unconfirmed, but largely unsurprising, information here a model with 4GB RAM and 128GB of storage and it features the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 system on chip. Here, we have another shot of the rear of the Google Pixel 3 XL. The rear-mounted fingerprint scanner they e likely not opting for an in-display fingerprint scanner this generation since the technology is still evolving and the single rear camera can be seen. The top of the device DOES and have any noteworthy features, though the absence of the 3.5mm headphone jack still stings in my opinion. On the right side, we can see that the volume and power buttons are positioned similarly to the previous generation Google Pixel 2 XL. The side picture shows us the depth of the fingerprint sensor and the rear camera. The Google Pixel 3 XL rear camera protrudes a bit from the back T not unlike the current Google Pixel phones, but even with Gorilla Glass some of you may feel anxious and opt for a protective case. At the bottom, we can see the USB Type-C port. To the left of the Type-C port, there the SIM card tray. On the Google Pixel 2 XL, the SIM card tray was on the left-hand side of the device. The leak generated a ton of buzz, so we reached out to Mirage 9000 to see if we could get more information. He has graciously provided us with more real-life pictures of the Google Pixel 3 XL codenamed Roshach and has confirmed one point of frequent speculation, it has a glass back. While we can confirm if the Pixel 3 XL has wireless charging support, that it does have a glass back bodes well for those hoping for the feature to be available. We should note that having a glass back DOES and necessarily mean a device has wireless charging, as shown by the OnePlus 6.